Welcome to another video from Rickster 57 So today we're going to show you Kodi and how to install it. So first of all you want to uh, go to Kodi.tv I'll just put it in Google and it will uh, be the first link. And we just want to literally click download Kodi. So this is the latest stable release at 15.2. Uh, you can download beta versions as well, but um, I like to just stick to the stable release for this. So these are the different operating systems that you can have it on. So you can have it on uh, different Android devices, including your mobile phone as well. Uh, but any Android device that you've got hooked up to your television as well. Um, or even a Raspberry Pi. But today we're going to install it on Windows 10. So we're using Windows Installer. I just want to save that. So guys, now that's downloaded, as you've just seen there, uh, we can just open it straight away, and click next, I agree, next, next, and install. So let's run Cody, it's now finished. So it seems to be running in the background, so I'll just minimise this. And there you go guys, this is Kodi. So, first of all, uh, this is just the normal skin. You can get different skins, I don't actually use this one myself. Uh, but just for now, I'll uh, just show you a quick uh, thing to get it set up. So first of all, we want to add uh, some videos. So first time, run help. So that's what I'm here for. So. What I want to do is I want to add some files and browse. So guys, uh, these are obviously my hard drives that are on my gaming PC. However, I want to be using my get everything that I've got on my HTPC, which is on my network. So I'm going to then go to Windows Network. And go on HTPC and then click on TV. There's all my TV shows. So I then click. Oops. I'll try that again. I'm just going to rename this Capital TV. TV shows. No, it's called TV. Oh, shows. And then done. And then this is where I'm going to get all my metadata. So I'm going to run TV shows, get all my metadata from the TV database. And press OK. So I want to refresh all information. As you see up here, it's getting all the different TV shows that I've got. And while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is add another one. Press Browse, go to Windows Network, so SMB, back to HTPC or whatever device you've got on your network. And this time I'm going to add Films. I'm going to capitalise this. And OK. This time I want the movie database. And yes, I want to refresh all information. So it'll start doing the movies straight after the TV shows. So that can take a couple of minutes because. Um, I do have about three, three and a half terabytes worth of movies and TV shows. So I shall see you when we are finished. So welcome back, guys. As you see, that has just completed in about two and a half minutes. So what we can do now is go back, and as you see now, my movies up there, and my TV shows up there. So, if you actually go into the TV shows, because obviously we've just added everything, um, it will obviously show you the recently added up at the top. But as you can see, you can go for each one. 
and um, brings up the metadata and it's all in a nice order. So as you see there, things are all in uh, different orders, and you can play it straight from here. What you can do is press save and go into it, and I'll come back out. This is running from the network. As I say, nice clear picture, works first time, there's no lag. Walking Dead. Not watched it. I think it's to check it out. And the same goes with the movies as well. Now guys, like I say, there is different skins if you don't like the way they look. You can even choose the different way it looks as well. well if I'm gonna do one eye. I don't like the fan art version. See in the background. I don't actually use this skin though. So one thing that I want to just quickly leave on is the different type of skins that you can get There's loads to choose from 26 and all now the one I use on my HTPC if I remember correctly is refocus now refocus has an additional add-on which I find very useful uh, which is your watch list which I'll show you in a minute but yes I want to keep the skin I'll come back so yes I want this is the add-on required extended info script so I want to download that and install that Okay. Escape, I'll get rid of that, guys. So, this is the skin that I usually um, use, but the first thing that I do need to do um, is go to settings, go down to Appearance, skin, GUI sounds, and turn that off because I so annoyed. Right, so now that is off and dealt with, um, we can customize this a little bit more. Um, so, first of all, what I would like to do is get rid of the things that I'm not going to use. Now, we've got all them things we've got. So, first of all, I'm not going to use on a TV or on my PC, or the radio, or music, or pictures, or the weather, or search. I'm going to leave the add-ons. Now, I have also installed um, a different add-on, which is from a script, which if we just go to add, and then select add on come out of there I want to go to add ons programs and steam so now we've got steam installed guys I will show you a video of where to get that um, I will also send a link in the bottom if you need to 
Um, if you really do need a video, just drop me a comment. Um, I'll just ask and I'll show you what it is. It's pretty much self explanatory, really. So, we've got that on, and we want to call that Steam. Now, it would have named it itself, but unfortunately, I clicked on it. So, Now we can go to OK. Come out of here. So now we've got Steam. So guys, you can use this on a Xbox 360 control. And say you're watching a bit of TV. And you've been watching some TV. And you've now decided to go and play a game on Steam with your Xbox controller. So you can go straight into this. It seems it's not working. And go back to settings. Custom home even. Go on to Steam. Ah, so this is what we need to do is it's choose shortcut. So we'll go on to Adams Programs Steam. Okay. So now when we click on Steam, well, we've got two Steam. So to save the confusion, we're going to get rid of this one. Okay, so we're going to click on Steam, and it will put you straight into Steam. Whatever game you want, using your Xbox control, and then jump straight off your game. I think I want to watch a bit more telly, so put a film on. And it's back on here. So this is the TV, the movies even, that I've uh, recently added. And the TV shows. Now there's no watch list because I've not actually watched anything on this computer. Now, because what it does is it will actually mark things you haven't seen with a green icon so let's say we want to watch Walking Dead as we showed you before so guys I've brought you back uh, I, I skipped basically I've just skipped through the uh, video so it seemed like I watched it I didn't show it on the uh, video but you guys who might want to go out on there and watch it um, it's a really good episode and I do definitely um, advise you do so so as you can now come back and this will refresh next episode is episode 2 and that will do it for everything that I've watched on the TV shows and it also shows you a TV guide so when they are airing what days they do air and what time they'll be available. So I'm in the UK and that's what time these will be available for myself. Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, you get the picture. So I've got my movies, my TV and my gaming all to hand. So it's like having a console. So thanks for watching guys and happy gaming. First of all, um, it isn't an update. It is a beginner's guide, so we are going to get ourselves some grass, get ourselves some sticks, and a stone. So, oh, by the way, you can uh, crouch, and um, the eye is closed when you're not hunted. It will open when zombies are hunting you. So, first of all, we have got oh, we've got three sticks off that bush. So in this section we've got his basics. Bit of thunder. So we're gonna make ourselves a stone axe.